Hey everyone, it's your host Kate and welcome back to Marvelous Videos. Today we take a look at Azathoth, the cosmic and boundless powerful ruler of the Outer Gods. HP Lovecraft dreamt up and created many weird and terrifying monsters and creatures that continue to populate the horror genre to this day, along with being a major influence on the genre as a whole. His work is followed faithfully by many even now, and there is always something new to know about his creations. Today we take a look at the ruler of the Outer Gods, the great and boundless Azathoth. Azathoth, also known as the Blind Idiot God, the Demon Sultan, and the Nuclear Chaos, is the overarching antagonist of the Cthulhu Mythos, created by the late horror fantasy writer H.P. Lovecraft. Azathoth is a thoughtless and unconscious creature, who is also almighty and the most powerful of all beings. He constructed everything that exists as part of his dream, and is completely unaware of it. He is said to float in the very center of the universe, or in the very center of chaos itself. No mortal has yet entered this realm and survived, and judging by the visions described by H.P. Lovecraft and later writers, it's unlikely that anyone who did would wish to live. Azathoth possessed the same insanity-inducing aura as other Lovecraftian horrors, even though it's dormant. Azathoth is said to be trapped in an endless slumber, tended to by horrifying dancers and served by countless lesser deities, who play a maddening tune on innumerable drums and flutes to keep Azathoth from awakening. For if he does, all of existence existence is said to be doomed, as it will signal the ultimate destruction of existence as we know it. So who is this powerful being and what do we know about Azathoth? And for all those who have just heard about Azathoth, this video will surely help you make sense of him. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you and let's begin. Who is Azathoth? Azathoth the Cosmic and Boundless was created by the late horror fantasy writer H.P. Lovecraft. He was initially mentioned and has appeared in many Lovecraft stories, most notably the Dream Quest of the Unknown Kadath in the unfinished short story Azathoth, published in 1922. He is omnipotent, surpassing the power of the Great Old Ones like Cthulhu, as well as his fellow outer gods like Yogg-Sothoth and Ypsil. He is the mythology's most powerful deity. He's not only one of the outer gods, but also the ruler of them all. The Cthulhu mythos overarching antagonistic race is the outer gods. They're the most powerful entities in H.P. Lovecraft's tales, and they are what the Great Old Ones are to humans. Needless to say, this renders the Outer Gods so strange and enormous that no human could even begin to comprehend them, despite the fact that many have attempted to do so at the risk of their sanity. In Lovecraft's corpus, there are 40 known Outer Gods described or named. The Outer Gods perform a cosmic function that the Great Old Ones don't, and while they may be worshipped as gods by lunatics and heretics, they are unconcerned about such things and are completely dedicated to their responsibilities. They manage the cosmos in a way that humans would consider chaotic at best, and they are completely unconcerned about the fate of others. Azathoth is the ruler of these otherworldly beings, making him all-powerful. Azathoth is regarded as the all-powerful creator of everything. All of reality, according to Lovecraft, is only a portion of Azathoth's dream, which it unwittingly constructed. And when Azathoth awakens, not if, everything will come to an end, and everything will be Azathoth's again. A big question is what does Azathoth look like? Azathoth's exact appearance is only alluded at throughout the mythos, and mortal creatures may never know. It's said to be located outside of the cosmos and is tended to by an army of extraterrestrial servants who constantly bathe it in sounds of pipes and drums. It's depicted as a blind idiot deity, clueless to the cosmos and the beings within it, despite the fact that it's the ruler and creator of all creation. However, in pictures all over the internet, he's depicted as a monstrous octopus, with many thick tentacles, floating and surrounded by the universe. Azathoth seems to be influenced by Lord Dasani's The Gods of Pagana's Mana Yud Sashai, since both are gods stronger than all others who are kept asleep by the music of lesser beings, and will destroy the universe when they awake. Another big question that arises is what exactly are his powers and abilities? Because Azathoth is technically god, a thoughtless and unaware creature who is almighty and the most powerful of all beings, 
His power is simply beyond human comprehension. As the most powerful being of all time and across all space, his power is immense and all-consuming. He constructed everything that exists as part of his dream and is completely unaware of it. If he awakens, all of existence will vanish and all will be Azathoth's once more. However, what makes him the most dangerous being is that if all of his laws are true, then he can't be destroyed, because destruction is only a dream to him, and he dwells outside of the realm of speed, strength, mortals, and the outer gods. Despite his mindlessness, Azathoth has the will of his own, and orders Neon Lathotep, his messenger and avatar, who is also his son. Azathoth is, without a doubt, one of fiction's most formidable antagonists, if not one of its most powerful entities. Azathoth might be considered the major antagonist of the Cthulhu mythos, because he created the entire cosmos and would finally void it. Neon Lathotep, on the other hand, is the true main enemy, as he appears more frequently and is the villain of more stories. Azathoth, on the other hand, is significantly more powerful than Neon Lathotep who created the latter among other things, making Azathoth the mythos' overarching enemy. Another area of interest is Azathoth's family tree and his offspring. His immediate offsprings are Nameless Mist, Darkness, and Neolathotep, and his first ever progeny born of spontaneous vision from Azathoth himself, Kaxukluth. They all have concrete physical forms unlike their father and are also considered to be outer gods themselves, being immensely powerful. Many other outer gods and great old ones come from these four entities as their offspring or children and are terrifying and monstrous, as is expected of the descendants of Chaos himself. Some notable and popular descendants of Azathoth are Yogg-Sothoth and his grandson. Yogg-Sothoth is omniscient and locked outside the cosmos, which means he can know and see all of space-time at the same time, implying that no secrets are hidden from him. He is the progenitor of Cthulhu, Hastur the Unspeakable, and the ancestor of the Vormi, having been born of Nameless Mist. He is also Wilbur Waitley's father, Shubna Gurath, his granddaughter, who is also widely worshipped. The expression, the black go to the woods with a thousand young, is often used to describe her. Coming further down this family tree, Wilbur Waitley is his great-grandson. He's a resident of Dunwich who plays a pivotal role in the Dunwich horror. Cthulhu, one of the most popular creations of Lovecraft, is his great-great-grandson. Cthulhu is a powerful great old one who sleeps in the sunken city of Erlier, beneath the Pacific Ocean in a like slumber. In the Eldritch transactions on our world, he retains a powerful figure. He's also one of Lovecraft's most visible contributions to modern and popular horror films. Lastly, Sathogua is his great-great-grandson, and he is described as an old one, a pantheon godlike creature. None of these terrifying beasts would be here without Azathoth. In fact, neither would any of us. Why is Azathoth called the Blind Idiot God? Azathoth is often called the Blind Idiot God and it seems quite weird to call this entity who is all-powerful and all-encompassing a Blind Idiot, right? However, there is a reason for this title that has been accorded to him. Azathoth is a mindless chaotic force who also happens to be all-powerful. He is who he is and he exists but not much else, as he lacks the ability to think abstractly or simply, like people and animals do. Azathoth created or dreamt the universe universe as we know it through his random gibbering. He didn't do anything on purpose and he doesn't even realise it. When he destroys it, he will be similarly ignorant, as he is above and beyond any concern for any of it. There's no rhyme or reason to his activities. Whenever he does anything, it's just by chance. Right now, the only thing keeping everyone from accidentally destroying reality is the fact that every other outer god and the Great Old One has discovered a method to keep him asleep, but this will not endure indefinitely. He resembles a colossal almighty amoeba. Imagine if some random bacteria on Earth was God, with all the responsibilities that it entails, but with the same amount of intelligence as that bacterium has always had, i.e. none. Azathoth is that bacterium for the lack of a better analogy. In the dreams in the witch house, Lovecraft also describes Azathoth as mindless. Azathoth was supposed to be tremendously strong, but mindless according to portrayals by Lovecraft. This is most likely an effort to represent a meaningless, atheistic, nihilistic universe driven by chance and blind laws rather than any form of intelligent intelligence.
intelligence that cares about humans. It's an attempt to deny most religions anthropocentrism, which depicts the universe as being dominated by one or more gods, who are intelligent, human-like, and concerned about humans. Azathoth is also known as a blind idiot god because he embodies the entire cosmos. Fate, destiny, will, and morality are all fabrications. Azathoth is unconcerned since he's blind. When one examines light, gravity, electricity, geometry, time, and space, it's evident that they make no sense. Azathoth is a moron. As a result, the concept of a blind fool god at the center of all chaos was born. Thus, the title he is often known by. Azathoth description in Necronomicon and Mythos. Azathoth is impossible to categorize because everyone sees him differently and he's constantly changing. It's a massive sentient black hole according to some tales. There is evidence that Azathoth's physical manifestation in the universe is continuous with a place in the galaxy's core area. Both Albert Wilmarth in Lovecraft's The Whisper in Darkness and Walter Gilman in Lovecraft's The Dreams in the Witch House are terrified at the mere mention of Azathoth's name, having read about him in the esoteric tome. In Gilman's case, it's the witch Keziah Mason who haunts his nightmares, warning him that he must meet the Black Man and accompany them all to Azathoth's throne at the heart of ultimate chaos. He must sign the Book of Azathoth in his own blood and adopt a new hidden identity. The fact that he had encountered the term Azathoth in the Necronomicon and knew it stood for a primeval terror, too horrific to describe, kept him from accompanying her to the throne of chaos, where the thin flutes piped mindlessly. It's also depicted as a leader of a cosmic upheaval, analogous to Lucifer's rebellion in the Bible, and it's said to be coming back. Gilman wakes up from another dream recalling the thin monotonous piping of an unseen flute, and decides that he had picked up the last conception from what he had read in the Necronomicon about the mindless entity Azathoth, who rules all the time and space from a curiously envisioned black throne at the heart of chaos. In Lovecraft's The Dreams in the Witch House, he fears finding himself in the swirling black vortices of that ultimate vacuum of chaos, wherein reigns the mindless demon sultan Azathoth. Thus, there is no one concrete description of Azathoth across all of Lovecraftian literature, and this has to do with his form that is ever-changing and practically incomprehensible to humans and mere mortals. Azathoth Cult No one in their right mind wants Azathoth to arrive in their world, because such a disaster would be disastrous. However, cults and cultists always form around powerful and terrifying entities. Whether it's the presence of an all-encompassing power or a promise of the end of days, something always draws people to Azathoth, and thus his cults appear from time to time. Those who wish to gain Azathoth's favour usually do so by worshipping the cruel in chaos. Despite the lack of evident benefits, there are rare outbreaks of those who worship Azathoth directly. Perhaps an outer god servant organised the insane adoration, or perhaps a mortal discovered a secret she shouldn't have seen. But all it takes is one spark for Azathoth's madness to spread. The cult of Azathoth is made up of lunatics by definition, and it will likely draw attention to itself at some point. People get contaminated when awareness of Azathoth goes too far. Mad women start wildly dancing on the street. Screams and gnashing of teeth are common among lunatics. Those who are already deranged begin to concentrate their rage on Azathoth and the cruel, hostile environment that surrounds them. One of the cruel and chaos's machinations may come to fruition, or Azathoth may be summoned to the location and stay too long, resulting in a sudden epidemic of contagious madness in a territory. It serves no discernible function, other than to propagate itself. To put it simply, it's insanity for the sake of insanity. Other mythos cults employ insane people, although they usually make an effort to hide their insanity, either through caution or isolation. Those who are stricken by an outbreak of Azathoth worship make no attempt to hide their developing madness. They may believe they are someone else and declare their true identity loudly, or they may suffer from major mood fluctuations, such as mania and despair, or they may develop dementia, aggressiveness, or paranoia. They frequently see sights and hear voices, some of which are genuine and others which are only in their heads. Their insanity is directed into service of the blind idiot god, regardless of its outward form. It's said that worshippers in Azathoth's Chronicle Temple in the town of Goatswood who practice obscene ceremonies involving atrocities practiced on still-living victims are insects who have escaped the destruction of their 
their home planet of Shagai, bringing the temple with them across the universe. The Azathoth cult spread usually burns out when the authorities wipe out its members, but it may wreak a lot of damage while it's going on. If the cultists are successful in reawakening Azathoth and bringing it into our plane, it has the potential to destroy entire lands or perhaps even continents. In the worst case scenario, an unchecked spread of Azathothic knowledge might destroy the entire solar system. Azathoth amplifies and strengthens each worshipper's insanity. For example, a cultist with several personalities who mostly manifest as different voices or occasional dissociative episodes could use illusional shape-shifting magic to make each personality into a new person, complete with their own clothing and class levels. If a cultist hears voices, those voices become real physical creatures that can act, at least in the same way that invisible servants can. When a cultist gets secluded and unconscious, she transforms into an iron body, which is impenetrable to injure or otherwise arouse. Each situation is distinct and deeply disturbing. Cultists can also usually get their hands on Abbath slime, serviator gates and flutes. Azathoth is a powerful and diverse character. However, on the flip side, he's also known as the blind idiot god, making him interesting knowing that nothing he did and none of the power that he has on people is within his control. However, despite this, his madness and chaos is incredibly infectious and once out into the world, has the ability to spread faster than all disease. He is the one that is above all when it comes to the creations of Lovecraft, and we are all at his mercy. It's actually quite terrifying knowing that he could wake up at any moment, and in that moment, everything would vanish. All his dreamy creations lost in the blink of an eye. Are you spiraling into an existential crisis yet? That's it for this video. Let us know what you think about Azathoth in the comments below. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks.